This week on a special episode of Canada in the Rough, Keith Beasley is headed to the Czech Republic, where he's hunting wild mouflon rams with Spiros Krisahu of Stoger, Canada. We'll also learn how Steiner Optics makes their scopes and binoculars this week on Canada in the Rough. Well, folks, my brothers and I have opened and closed this show from every corner of Canada, literally. But we've never done it from the Czech Republic. And here we are with an opportunity to come to this beautiful country, stand at this city centre to begin our incredible adventure, and we're going to be mouflon hunting. I don't even know what a mouflon looks like in my own eyes, other than the research I've done on the internet, but I can't wait to do it. Canada Rough goes on vacation very rarely, and when we do, it's an incredible opportunity. But we're also here with the folks from Stoger Canada with Spiros and his friends from Germany at the Steiner Factory. So they're our hosts, and we're going to be touring the factory and going mouflon hunting. It's an opportunity that I've been excited about for many months. Now we get to bring it to you. So let's enjoy and let's get hunting. The Czech Republic is located in Central Europe, bordered by Austria, Germany, Poland and Slovakia. The guys will be hunting with Forrest Ibenstein, an outfitting company which hunts many species across Europe, including red stag deer, brown bears, wild boars, sika deer, roe deer, and what the guys will be targeting this week, mouflon sheep. Before the hunt, we chatted with the owner of the outfit about mouflon hunting. I like mouflon hunting because it's a very uh, interesting spe uh, species. She is very hard to hunt on it because he can look very good, can smell very good and hear everything. We have uh, big groups of mufflon and a lot of eyes, a lot of ears, a lot of animals. It's not so easy to hunt on it. And we only hunt the rams. And uh, since we are only hunting the age four and older, to do outfitting is very interesting for me. We can manage the, the animals and so forth I understand can work for the future. We can work for the, for the climate and the earth and if we do our job good, so we can do both hunting and protecting nature. And this is the reason because we do our hunting business. Anticipation and excitement was high as Keith and Spiros met up with their hunting guides and prepared for their hunt. The next morning, Spiros hunted a high stand with his guide Hans, while Keith and his guide Lewis set off on foot, hoping to spot and stalk some free-range mouflon sheep. On this hunt, Lewis is using a thermal monocular, which allows him to see the heat signature of animals that may be obscured. The guys patiently waited and watched, but they never did see any mature rams. Throughout the morning, they encountered more mouflon and a nice sick of buck, but the mature rams eluded them. Meanwhile, Spiros had an eventful morning in his high stand, where he watched many sick of deer. In the evening, Spiros moved to a new high stand and again had many Sika encounters. At last light, he had a band of mouflon sheep move in, but it was unfortunately past legal shooting. Keith also hunted a high stand in the evening and had a great encounter with a nice roe deer buck to end his first day hunting in the Czech Republic. During Keith and Spiro's mouflon sheep hunt in the Czech Republic, they had the opportunity to tour the capital city of Prague. This historic city is a cultural hub of Central Europe, full of Gothic castles and cathedrals with remarkable craftsmanship and artwork. There's a tremendous amount of stunning architecture throughout the city, along with medieval stone bridges that cross the main river. And the old town square, full of local vendors selling many delicious foods. It's quite unique to be on a hunt and still close enough to visit such a major tourist destination as Prague. 
During their time in Europe, Keith and Spiros also had the great opportunity to go visit the Steiner Optics Factory in Germany. Steiner Optics are some of the world leaders in optics quality and ruggedness, trusted by millions of military personnel and civilians, yet still sold at an affordable price point. Here, Keith and Spiros got to peek behind the curtain and learn firsthand how these amazing optics are made. So, gentlemen, this is our Product, first production step what we have at the Steiner company here in Germany for doing our binoculars and rifle scopes. So we are starting here with the raw glass material and we are processing the raw glass material in different production steps. There's a total of five production steps consisting of grinding, smoothing, polishing, cleaning and coating. Binoculars and rifle scopes are made up of many layers of glass lenses and prisms. To be able to properly see through each piece of glass takes a lot of engineering. Specialized machines first grind the raw glass material to the proper shape. They do this by using a cutting tool coated in diamond dust. The glass is then put through the smoothing station. Each piece is then visually checked by a skilled employee. Next, it's off to the polishing stations to smooth out the glass even more. The lenses and prisms are then cleaned using an ultrasonic cleaning machine to remove all foreign matter. Finally, they are brought to the coating station where a special mixture of minerals coats the glass in a 300 degree oven, which will increase light transmission. Light transmission refers to the amount of light that can pass through glass. The higher the percentage, the clearer you can see. This sets premium products like these ahead of cheaper made products. Steiner actually holds the highest light transmission percentage of 96%, which means not only can you see incredibly clear and detailed images, but during those prime low light hunting hours when animals tend to move the most, hunters are able to extend their hunting time to the last minute of legal light, upping their odds of success. Once the coating is complete, the binoculars and scopes are assembled. Each product has many parts to put together, some of which are extremely small. Once again, skilled employees assemble the lenses and housing by hand. Everything needs to be properly assembled and adjusted and covered in their individual armoring before moving on to the final quality control stage. Steiner goes above and beyond to test their products and are the world leaders when it comes to supplying militaries with optics. Due to this, the civilian side of the operation benefits from the rigorous and detailed production, assembly, and quality control stages. From water pressure tests to extreme hot and cold temperature tests, they also have humidity tests, shock tests, and even a machine that simulates rifle shots. This machine alone will put the rifle scopes through 500 shots at 900 G-forces for each shot. The full factory tour can be viewed on our YouTube channel, where we take you through each step in much more detail and even show you some of the extreme testing the fine folks at Steiner did for us to prove how much faith and pride they have in their optics. Set up in the morning, beautiful foggy. We're creeping through the woods to look at a green field. He says they're always out there, so we're just got camera lights. We're kind of rushing in before they move off the field. Oh, there's some nice rams. Keith and his guide Lewis decided to continue down the path, working into the large forest, hoping to cut the move lawn off. As they work deeper, they pass an old moss-covered cabin. I 
feel like if we went in, we'd find three little bears and some hot porridge. This is pretty epic. Eventually, they hear a young lamb calling in the distance, so they work quickly and quietly to the sound. Heartbroken, Keith and Lewis moved on, searching for a mature mouflon ram. Over the course of the day, they had many great encounters, from a baby lamb to a band of younger rams that they came face to face with at one point. In the afternoon, the guys found some fresh sign, so they started to slowly follow the sign, hoping it would lead to the band. I 
think we got him. Yes, you got it. <sighs> I felt good about the shot. They all scattered so quick, it was hard to keep up, but yeah, yeah. that was a hunt. Good shot. What, what an adventure. Good yes. <laughs> good eyes. Good eyes. Yes. He was standing about here, and lots and lots of blood, and looks like lung from back here. Really good bubbly, bubbly blood, and lots of it. So hopefully around this corner. Hopefully, Lewis. Yes, it's good blood. Blood there, Lewis. Yes, I see it. And there, oh, he's crossed this log here. Yeah, yeah. Lewis, there he is. Here is it. There he is. Yes. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That's Happy hunt. Happy hunt. Happy hunt. Happy Good hunt. hunt. To come yes. around the world to yeah. share this with you yeah. and to walk up on this, very special for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lewis, look at that. <laughs> look at the curl on those horns. <laughs> now, listen, he's in a bit of a tight spot. Why don't we pull him out for the viewers to really get a look at how beautiful this is? Yeah. Is that okay? That's beautiful. Okay, yes. let's do that. We can take him out. Lewis, what a ram. What a ram. ram. Like his, his horns are actually <laughs> a finger width from his cheek here. Yes. And the more we've got to look at him here pulling him out, yeah. big cut on his nose. Yes. From fighting, from I assume. From fighting, yes. 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 And you're very good at aging, but like at home, there's, there's rings in the horn. So he's four, yes. one, defined lines, two, yeah. three, four. So that's his lamb tip, and then he just keeps going. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. But in German, one, Two, two, three, four. Right, because that's the one he grew first. Yeah, and he's broomed this, off a bit is, there. This is the, the first, the first, first one he grows. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I didn't realize how big and thick the beard was on the bottom. Yeah, beautiful color, beautiful yeah. hair. The browns, yes. the white patch, the colors—they're beautiful. Thank you yes. for an amazing hunt and adventure. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thank but you. But we have in German a tradition with the branches. Yes. Yes. And I show you for uh, last eating. For his last for, meal. For last, last meal eating. In the animal, yes. This is for a man. Goes a male, to the head. Points yes, to the head. If a female, head. it would be reversed. Yes. 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 It's another side. Okay. Correctly. And this is for a hunter's head. Okay. And what side does it go on? Happy hunt. Happy hunt. Happy, Happy hunt. hunt. On the right side. On the right side, yes. Yeah, I'm honored. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. And and thanks to, to this animal. Thanks to you guys for having us. And thanks to yes. our, our new friends and sharing an amazing adventure together. It's, yeah. it's something I will always remember and cherish. Yes. Great. Spiros, you and I have been fortunate to travel across Canada with either my brothers or I and see lots of the country, where we're from, but I've never been able to come overseas and share an adventure with you like this. This has been pretty special. Well, it is fantastic, and to be here in the Czech Republic and be hunting with our German friends here and, and chasing after this, these great animals, it's, it's really something to be here. I'm glad we were able to be here together. Thank you, and then the, the highlight now is the viewer didn't see this, you got a great mouflon ram the same night I did. Absolutely, and I've got proof, it's there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't have the cameras everywhere at once, so it didn't work out, but you, you got a beautiful ram. So to, to share this with you, um, I'm gonna take a few things with me. Hunting these amazing animals was one, but the tradition, the, the care and the, the connectivity is a word you've used earlier in the hunt. Back to the animal, back to Mother Earth. I, I'm amazed at, at how, how reverent this is to, to the animal and to the hunt. Absolutely, and we're, we're gonna see the ceremony in, in true traditional form that they've been doing for hundreds of years. And uh, we're gonna be partaking in it as 
the guest host. <laughs> pretty special because not not often does the animal take a back seat to the reverence and the tradition. And that, that's a pretty neat part to go with hunting. And we try to send that message constantly as hunters in Canada, but to see the world doing it as well is very refreshing and a great opportunity. Folks, this has been an amazing adventure. These mouflon rams truly tested us and put us on a great, great hunt, and that's all you can ask for. If you haven't had the chance to come over and partake in an adventure like this for all they have to offer here, our friends at Forest Ibenstein have given us a remarkable hunt. Our friends at Stein are hosting us. It's been spectacular. I'm your host, Keith Beasley, for Canada in the Rough. We're enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Ready? Let's do it. For the honor of the animal, we call it in Germany Verblasen der Strecke. Now we are thinking that the animals, uh, the soul of the animals are going up to the, to the, to the, to the uh, heaven. And uh, I hope also that you enjoyed this hunt. And I'm very proud that it is at the end uh, in front of you. So please come to me. Look here also for you, it's one of our signs. And uh, I want to say Weidmanns Hau. Weidmanns Dank. Dankeschön. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit the like button, comment, as we'd love to know how you felt about it. And if you'd like more great Canadian adventures, please subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any new content coming out. And as always, our amazing outdoor adventures are shared on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Please come along for the adventure. We'd absolutely love to have you along for the ride.